Are you ready to create stunning 3D textured motion graphics without limits? Well, today we're unlocking a powerful After Effects workflow that opens up a whole new dimension. Let's get started. All right, as you may know, at the moment, we cannot apply textures to our 3D objects right here in After Effects. However, we can incorporate perhaps the easiest 3D program ever called Adobe Dimension, which is available inside of your Creative Cloud. With a simple workflow between After Effects and Dimension, there's literally unlimited possibilities of what you can create. For instance, you can add in simple 3D objects, text, and all the way to pretty much anything that you may need, like a shampoo bottle. And I swear, I wasn't trying to create a shampoo commercial, but you can create anything that you need. When you import a custom 3D model, we can see that there are multiple objects within this model. This means we can texture the objects individually. So this means if you have a graphic, you can actually add it to your model and wrap it around the entire object, which is just awesome. But make sure that your graphic is large. We can also add from countless pre-made materials to say the top part of our shampoo bottle. So just take your time to see the unlimited possibilities. Now, before we jump back over to After Effects, let's go over quickly how to build out a scene because it's just so easy. For starters, let's say we wanna add a cube and edit its size to be a rectangle, no problem. We can also copy and paste objects and then change the size again to create, say, a smaller variation. And then you can reposition it to the top to create a custom object. Then we'll just place that shampoo bottle back at the top with simple positioning. Now, have some fun texture in your shapes, but keep in mind, you can change the texture resolution for even more details and even change any of their material options. But now when your scene is all ready to go and you're done here in Dimension and you're ready to animate in After Effects, select one of the objects or multiple objects and then go to File, Export, and select GLTF and make sure you punch selected objects. And then when you're done, you go ahead and repeat this for each individual object you want to export from your scene. Then in After Effects, you can import those 3D models and then you have full control over every object. This now means we're ready for the party to make a fully animated commercial. However, to ensure your post-production experience is always a party, be sure to get my free 100 templates and gain access to 45,000 plus assets, presets, and transitions right here for After Effects and Premiere Pro. You can add countless seamless transitions to your edit, throw in highly detailed templates, and create the best work and moments. So be sure to check the description below and thank you for making this channel possible. All right, now back in this, let's get into scene building. So it's probably best to add in a solid layer for your background to start start off and then you can go ahead and create a camera layer and then use any of the camera tools here at the top to angle your scene however you want for the best perspective. Then think about duplicating your models and pushing them back in Z space to create a scene with some variant details. I just went ahead and added some additional shampoo bottles just with a slightly different color. Now, when you're happy with optimizing your scene once again in After Effects, we can easily keyframe our objects to you know animate however we want. Aside from you know position pop-up animations, we can also animate the rotation to spin from the start of our scene. Then we can just say parent the shampoo bottle to the rectangle so that it follows the same animation. And most importantly, please be sure to add an environment light with shadows enabled to make this amazing and to truly overhaul your scene though you're going to want to try some hdris which are best understood as light maps in adobe dimension you can add in lighting presets to your current design and when you have a light that you actually like for your scene you can easily export only that light map as a dot exr now back in after effects you can import that light map right into your scene and set the environment light to that exr and now you have a massive change but don't forget to mess with the lights rotation to see how the light affects your scene you can also animate that property if you want and with some creativity we now have the power to create some really cool commercial work now i don't want to leave you hanging on how i did this array but all I did here is move the Y anchor point of the bottle downward. And this way, the anchor point will just be centered in the scene. Then I created a 3D null object and then parented the bottle to it. Then we can duplicate the object and rotate its rotation by 60 degrees. And then we'll just keep duplicating each shampoo bottle by 60 degrees until we have this finalized array. And lastly, you can use the null to reposition and angle your design however you need and just animate the Z rotation. And be sure to repeat the lighting steps from a previous example and create something awesome. Subscribe to be the best and always be creating.